right, so here it is, <laughs> still working on my yard. So today, I did, planted all my little herbs, got oregano, margarine, thyme, cilantro, parsley, chives, basil, two types of basil, rosemary, uh, onion, marigold, and these other flowers. I put them under there, <sighs> because when I water, they'll get the excess down there. So in case I forget to water those down there. And uh, as you see, it's quite windy. It's about 64 degrees. Got some uh, clouds moving in. I think we have a storm coming from Alaska down this way. So I got my flannel on, flannel shirt. <laughs> got some uh, lavender that I cut off and uh yeah we're gonna police up out here bill's gonna help me so i got my little vegetable bin moved over there with the help of bill oh there's the other two boards down there or they fell <sighs> i got my herb garden started and uh i got dirt over there ready to put in my vegetable garden planted some flowers got that kind of cleaned up over there so yeah and uh getting there. Planted some more flowers back here with my flower seeds and I'll do the dirt and stuff probably tomorrow. So my garden's doing pretty good. Uh, nothing down there for herbs but I got a lot of new growth on there. These are so pretty. Look at that. I love those. This here is I believe, cinnamon basil. It's got like a purple tinge to it or it could be Thai. My spider plant. Look, I got little babies. I got some babies in the house. I got my strawberry over there. And these smell so good. Rosemary. I got some Swiss chard that was left over there in my garden. But all of these are growing good after I gave it haircuts. And we'll see about lavender. Some more little succulents back there. This here too. Oh, I think this is my primrose. Oh no, this is a uh, peppermint. Oh. And I got some seeds down there. See if they grow. But yeah, it's a sunny day. A little cold out. It's in the probably high 50s, low 60s. 60s. My rosemary's standing up straight. And down inside the rosemary, there's a spider plant. It must have jumped over there at one time. So I got my little garden over there. Just being lazy right now. I don't want to go out there and start that. I've been doing a couple other things. It's ready. But I need to cut the paper at least that I will put down. And uh, throwing the dirt in there ain't going to take long. I do have to get more dirt though. But as you see, wind's not blowing today. Clear skies. Oh, little clouds. A little bit of clouds. Just uh, came in from outdoors. As you see, it's calm today. There's not that much wind. <laughs> not like it had been. I mean, you hear that stuff just blowing across, you're thinking, oh my God, whose roof is being ripped apart now? <laughs> it was like hurricane winds. But that's what happens when you live in like a little dust bowl. You know, we're, we're in a valley here. Today, it's cool, but it's not windy at all. I should be out there working in my garden, which I may do in a little bit. Uh, I just need to cut the plastic down, throw my first layer of dirt in there. I kind of mixed some dirt with some cow manure. I'll put that at the bottom because I want to get my vegetables going because this is like nice weather for it, the seeds to start coming up. Now a lot of plants, what I've learned over the years, they need to be, it needs to be 80 degrees out for them to flower. And that once they flower, that's when you're going to get your fruit, tomato, cucumber, whatever you're planting. To get them in the ground when it's kind of like this, not too extremely hot, but enough sunshine that keep them warm. I think most of them were eight days to come up and some maybe 12 days and I think it's been um, on some of my stuff it's been probably a week you know a little less last week I was doing a lot of garden work so I want to get my garden going because the desert is unforgiving once it hits 110 
and you have to take advantage of all these months that it's below 100 degrees. <laughs> when you start up about this time, I, I've always had greens. Don't do too good with tomatoes. I mean, they grow, but I get them about that big. <laughs> Even if I have beef eaters or what. So I don't know if it's uh, the soil or what it is. Tomatoes I don't hardly get or like cucumbers. Onions I have a hard time with. A lot of the greens I, I notice will last pretty much all summer. Now spinach is probably the only one that once it gets really hot, you have to really watch it or it'll die on you in a heartbeat. I mean, you have to put water on it every day. And that's pretty much what you have to do out here. Every day I have to water them. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll try to deeply water. That that still doesn't last. You know, you still got to come back and throw some water on the top to keep that top dirt moist. I may not throw as much, but I still always have to keep it damp because last year we had a brutal, brutal summer. It was brutal. <laughs> so not a whole lot survived. We had a mild winter, so we'll see if we'll have a milder summer. I don't know. That's all I'm kind of doing today. Um, like I said, I might get out there and get that garden going because it's not going to get done by itself. Okay, guys, I got my slats in there. I got my paper or I'm going to cut this put it on the bottom and start filling it with dirt you know I was going to scrub this out but I haven't done that it's been out here in the sun for a couple days so all right all right I got my dirt in there but I think I need like one more bag because I like to have it all the way to the top see it's gone up there I got some eggshells I'm going to break up and put in there. And I got some other stuff I'm going to mix in there from our garden. And hopefully by today or tomorrow, I'll have this all planted. Okay, so today it's sunny, kind of clear skies. There's some low-hanging clouds. But it's going to be in the 70s today. I got my vegetable garden full with dirt. Well, not all the way full. Yeah, it's just a nice little morning to set out here. Slight breeze. Just enough to cool me from sweating. <laughs> All right, I'll probably run up to the store and get me some dirt. All right, bye. Got some eggshells. I got some coffee grinds. I'm going to mix that in with my dirt, too. But I went and I got me a little... This here is a bell pepper, and this is little Roma tomatoes. I like having those. They get all bell pepper because <laughs> they take, I don't know, they don't do as well with from seeds. Oh, I got a little bird somewhere up here talking to me, a little hummingbird sitting up on the wire just took off. They kind of sang over here for me. Put the rest of my dirt in there. I got some, um, so I got this here. I'm going to put in the holes and I do my little plants. And I got to say, this is pretty good dirt. Because if you look at the difference, this one here has a lot of sticks in it. Not that dark. Now this, it doesn't really show it, but this is a lot darker than this side. Maybe you can see it a little better. But, so it's a nice dirt, and we'll get it going. I got my eggshells in here and coffee grinds. Banana peel and coffee grinds is real good, too. Banana peels, you could put in a jar of water. And you leave it out like in the sun for a few days. And then you put that water on your plants. I've done that. I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to put some seeds. i got to get my sticks so I can label everything where everything's at and what it is. So then I could have the growth date on there and everything. You might call me crazy, but I love the smell of dirt. Fresh dirt just smells so earthly. <laughs> Well, this is all right. I got a couple things planted, and I know I know they are kind of close together. But once they come up, I have extra room to kind of thin them out because I put uh, a few seeds in each spot. I still may only get one or two plants. It's just uh, how it works, I guess. So this little tomato plant, my bell. I got a lot of duplicates, so I need to buy different kinds of vegetables and put there. Oh, look at that wind coming through. Woo! doggy <laughs> look it knocked that down it's just blown stuff Whoa, what's that <laughs> oh yeah